OK, time now to go through the papers. We're joined by Larger Than Life, Christopher Biggins, actor and, of course, general good fellow. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank and you. And economist <laughs> Emily Carver as well. Very good morning to you. Thank Welcome you for having me. You. It's the first time you've done breakfast with us. And I know it's it a godly hour. So we appreciate the <laughs> It effort. is ridiculous hour. How do you do this every day? I don't know. It's a lot it of makeup. It looks so good. <laughs> Um, let's take a look, shall we, this morning at the front of the mail. I mean, I should point out at this point, there's virtually a different story on the front of every paper. Yeah. So it's quite a, quite an interesting day for news. I know. Well, this is very interesting because this is saying 600 Whitehall fat cats are paid <laughs> over £150,000. Uh, a year. I think that uh, Amy and I will probably join these fat cats if we could. It's a nice salary, isn't it? Yeah, not bad. Not yeah. bad at all. I mean, and the, the number of civil servants earning more than 150000 a year has soared since the start of the pandemic, despite many of them working from home. Nice work if you can get it. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but also, there are so many who... Uh, the Prime Minister earns 150000 Of course, he's probably the lowest paid Prime Minister or head of state in the, in the world. Mm. Um, but anyway, he, that's what he earns. A lot more... Uh, uh, earn a huge amount more. Like, for instance, the pay list is topped by the boss of the controversial HS2 project, <laughs> who earns £625,000. Public money. Public money. And also, the, uh, a lot of the rail project people are on 150000 including Network Rail. Now, I love the railway. I'm going to Birmingham when I finish this later on today <laughs> and on the train. Uh, but the trains have gone up. Enormously. A fortune. A fortune. There's, I now know where this money's going. <laughs> Quite. Into these rich so, cats. Look, do we think then that we, we have fat cats in this country? Or do you think, you know, that we're talking about people like Sue Gray, who obviously is yep. a very important role. Uh, is this a fair salary in, in the sort of expensive world that we live in, or are they being overpaid? I mean, it may well be, but we often see that there are council leaders, managers in the NHS, managers in various areas of the public sector who, as you say, are earning far more than the Prime Minister. And I do wonder whether that is a good use of our public money. Also, with HS2, HS2 has become such a gravy train. Oh. There are so many vested interests. I doubt that it will have the economic benefits that they said it will. And £625,000, that's a huge salary for us to be forking out. And I don't suppose it's worth it. Uh, the, is, is there anything going to be done about this? And the reality is those salaries aren't going to change even... Of course they're not. I mean, that's, you, if they've agreed to that salary, I mean, however many years ago, they had to be paid. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, if they were got rid of, they'd have to, a, huge, a huge amount of money yeah. to be given. The know. issue is whether a lot of them are on London waiting and if they mm. are now working from home, whether or not that should be taken away. What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, I guess the argument is that if these very talented people, let's say if they're talented and, and good at what they do, if they were in... Um if they were in the private sector, perhaps they would be able to get an even larger salary. So perhaps we have to compete in order to get the best people. But I'm not sure that we decide salaries in the best way. I'm not sure where these numbers come from, how we come to these uh, assumptions that someone is worth £625,000. Yeah. Probably the person who's being paid £625,000 <laughs> that figure. I think you might be right.